areas of land. You're sneaking into the ballet fortress? How can you think upon animal lusts today of all days? We may die today. Should I spend my last moments scrubbing floors or making love? May God have mercy on your soul, Amada. Sneaking through the back door like that. Who are you? And what are you doing? Following that love struck mage should lead me into the palace. Mon cher is coming, and and he'll lock you up. Pardon me, good sirs. Where may I find Count Odo? Count Odo? Who cares about Count Odo? Where is our good friend Walter de Sans? Why? Who is Walter de Sans? A great warrior. Walter? A warrior? No. He is Count Odo's family priest. He's begging Odo to give us more wine. Huh? We plan to be passed out drunk by the time the Northmen bust into here. Odo's priest might lead me to Odo, but I need to sneak past these guards to the servant's wing. Must tread with care. 
Why the Count will not attend to you, I will never know. The mother of his children. To think it's so stubborn that order, and that pathetic Walter Lucence, too drunk to give last rites. A travesty that is. <laughs> Pardon me, father. Where is Count Dodo? Oh, oh no! His foolish pride will kill us all! Yes, but where is he? Who are you again? No, I can tell you nothing without more wine. Ah, oh, my memory has gone all hazy. Here is your wine. Now, do you remember where is Count Dodo? Wine? Ah, sweet, precious wine. The water of life, the blood of Christ, the fiery flame of the world! Red wine, nothing more. You may have it. Oh, heaven hears my prayer. Now, I can die. Before you do, where is Count Odo? Although, I do not know. But his wife lies wounded in the master bedroom. She may have answers. On the second story, Along the main hall. Here, take the key. I lock the door. Thanks. Is that you, Odo, my love? No. You're too tall. Are you the priest? <laughs> the light has grown dim. I see nothing but shapes. <laughs> Father, will you hear my confession? Oh, yes. I am the priest, your ladyness. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. In my own pride, I went to battle without armor, thinking God would be my shield. And now I'm dying, and I will never see my sweet children again. Where are they, Father? Are they safe? They uh, are safe with that good man, Walter Dusson. Do not fear. Thank you. But, Father, please, will you carry a message from a dying woman to her beloved husband? I will, my dear. What should I tell Count Dodo? That he is a good man. That he must live for our children's sake. For Paris. For Francia. He must not die for a mad king. I promise I will do this, good lady. Where may I find your husband? <coughs> Odo remains locked in his sanctum. His sanctum? Up the landing and across the hall. My husband still hopes Charles will ride forth and save the city. Locked in, you said. There is a key in the bureau. Take it. Help my husband. A any 
way you can. Death creeps upon me now. But slow and quiet. Like a shadow at day's end. I lay so heavy. Mother. Where are you? Farewell, good lady. Debts, my lord. Your lady wife lies dying. Go to her. Your duty as a husband. My duty is here. When Charles and his army arrive, we will join the attack. We will crush the heathens between the hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris. <gasps> Leave, Walter. Go comfort my wife as best you can. God, it seems, has chosen a different fate for me. The priest is right. Lay down your arms. Save your city. Among the Northmen, is not death in battle the best way to die? Come, share a glass of wine with a doomed man. I have heard many a warrior cry out for their mother as their life's blood feeds the ground. I no longer can say if this is the best way to die. Your wife's wound is severe, an arrow to the gut. I saw her. I fear she won't last the night. And I won't last the next quarter of an hour. She's said to be strong for your children. Do not throw away your life for a mad king. Look at these works of stained glass. Delicate. Priceless. Evro's artisans spend years crafting each piece. Wondrous works. I grant you that. We brought them here for safekeeping. In the hopes that your invading horde won't smash them to pieces. You tell me to surrender my city? Abandon my honor? You tell me to live out my days as Siegfried's prisoner? What would you do? I would fight. And someday I will die with steel in my hand. This I know. It is my doom. But today is not that day. And if I put you on your back, bleeding out and crying for your mother? My mother is already dead. Come! Bleed for Paris! Oh no, no, no.
fine blade for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Odo. But not well enough. <clears throat> Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Shar and his army! He arrives in time to save the city. They do not fight. I see a flag of truce. Siegfried and Charles will hold Pali. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor. And trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eivor. I shall. Lord Siegfried, I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. Silver for a truce. Not a truce, but a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen, and you bend the knee to your king. I do not kneel to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter, let me take counsel. Eivor, thank the gods you live. As to you, good. I made it inside the palace. Odo would have surrendered the city, but... But Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. Aye, and you? After we split up, I took my thanes and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby, safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave. The lucky and the brave. Ah, so it is said. And Charles, he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah, indeed. And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every war thane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By luck, he's bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy. I have dealt with Charles more than you. He may stab us in the back. He can try. And if he tries, I will take his silver and his throne. Uncle, we came for wealth and peace for our clan. We can't take all of Francia. We're too few. Charles, we take your gift. And in return, we give you peace. Siegfried. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend and protect our lands in Amiens and Rouen. Gosla, Abel, and my wife died defending Paris from these river pirates. And now, you offer them the very silver we paid you. To defend us! Are you mad? Wait! We know you are. Let me ask instead. Are you a coward or a fool? Siegfried swears to protect our lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine! Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day, but I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. 
You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait. A final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. I am as good as my word. Toka, bring out the boy. King Father, take me home. <laughs> there, there, there. I don't stand straight like the future king of France here. God watches you, huh? I want me then music, silver and song, dancing, and someone warm in my sheets. Come, friends, let us feast. Tomorrow, the Franks will bury their dead, thanking their god that they yet live. And they should, for Paris was merely kissed this time. Should we breach those walls again, we will bare our teeth and bite. And should Charles judge it wise to draw swords against us again, let him remember the glint of our axe blades. Let him remember the red mist on the air, the taste of iron. Enjoy the feast all! A purse full of silver to any who can drink more ale than I! Skull! What is this? Racing against pigs? <laughs> yes! What is more amusing than watching drunken men race against pigs? We have done worse things to entertain ourselves. Would you like to try, Eivor? There is a small price for the winner. Or are you not fast enough? Where do I start? <laughs> Good sport, Eivor. You will start here. Run when the pig starts running. To raise the stakes and fun, I will join you too. Ready? Try! 
Another victory for my saga. Seems your legs were blessed. No matter the winner, the joy was in the doing. Indeed. And we sure slice open Frankia's belly this time, eh? Now to feast on her entrails. The winnings are worthy of a serpent's lair. And the roads glistened from the dew of slaughter. Yes, though one wonders if such butchery was needed. No lessons today, Eivor. I doubt I will remember them. Maybe you should put down that ale prowl for a time. Without doubt. But that time has not yet come. <laughs> you are hopeless. That is clear. I took a handsome sword to meet the fighting. Have it. A keepsake to remember this day by. You honor me. I will cherish the blade. By the way, I was surprised you gave the boy to Charles. It is an ill fate to be prince to such a lord. You're right, Toka. But what I did was not for Bernard. It was for us and for my clan. <laughs> Ah, Eivor! Here... Cheese throwing. The most pungent game of them all. Nastier than Charles himself. You enjoy this? I prefer to eat the cheese, but who am I to question the games of the people? So, want to toss some cheese? How do I win this game? You need to throw at least two blocks of cheese past the green banner. Quite simple. Oh, and you have three tries to get it done. Will not hurt to try. Should be easy. Just try not to hit anyone. Krista! Try the fight! And the one! Up to slow the doctor! Hey, you gave it to her with that? Make a big thing. Bravo, Evor! Good throw, Evor. Never underestimate the cheese. Did I underestimate the... You definitely earned the prize, so here, some stray silver from the spoils of Paris. You expected a different outcome. I thought you best for rallying a siege and swinging a sharp stick. Was not sure how you would toss some cheese. There is much about me you don't know, Pierre. Oh, pray tell. What else should I know? I could tell you. Or I could show you. In return, I could also show you a few tricks of the Frankish persuasion. I will have to repay the favor, then, with my own set of skills. Shall we find some place quiet, then? Away from this rabble? Lead the way. That was... nice. It was. I hope you know... well, Eivor, you know how I am. I indulge in the finer things in life. Various fine things, in fact, and... <laughs> Pierre. We both know what this was. Then, good. Is this something they do often, where you are from? I think I might like it there. <laughs> something was amiss with Siegfried earlier. A little ale may have lifted his spirits by now. Eivor the Talker. No 
Quite a trove of riches, Siegfried. What were you doing with Count Odo as Charles's army marched on me and my men? I was trying to gain his surrender. What of it? Is it not strange that you met with Odo, Richardus, even Charles himself, and yet all three still walk around with their heads? Everything I have done has been for my clan. It is curious that we must drench our blades in battle sweat to enjoy a night like this. We fight because we must. Born in blood, doomed to die. Our threats woven by unseen hands. <laughs> the Frankish blood, the feasting. I still feel nothing. I find no peace in any of it. You avenged your murdered people. You gained glory in their names. Is that why I did what I did? Vengeance and glory. I wonder anymore why any of us do the things we do. Is it Valhalla? Is it clan? Or maybe we grant ourselves reasons to go from one mead cup to the next. Maybe there are no reasons. And we are no different than wolves. Driven by some inner hunger we can never understand. That may be. But for the sake of our peoples, we must continue to act otherwise. No. I do not believe there is a hole waiting for us. This world is a hole. We get but one. I shall not pretend. Frankia's cup overflows with lush farmland. Fat farmers and fatter purses. All the more for us to drink. Tomorrow, we quit this place and head south for greater bounties than even a king can grow. We gave Charles our word. Fuck Charles! We spared Paris today, but tomorrow we march for Burgundy. And after that, all of Francia. I cannot let you do it, Siegfried. <laughs> Then stop me. See you, old friend. Will it be a horn gang then, Wolf Kissed? I only ask that you honor your agreement. What does a crow starver like Charles know about honor? I owe him nothing. And he owes me everything. No amount of Frankish blood will bring Sinrich or the others back. Some wrongs can never be made right. All this talk of right and wrong, honor, as if we can judge. It has no meaning. Can we explain all the blood on our hands, Eivor? Or are we two jesters on this Frankish stage, awaiting our final performance? Draw your weapon. If it is death you want, fine. I'll give it to you. But this is your doing, Siegfried. Finally! The fabled Eivor of Raven Clan has come. I knew 
it would come to this the moment I saw you. I did not come here to kill you. Toka, I... Uh, I know. He chose this. May you find peace in the Great Hall. And when you drink with father again, tell him of the glory I won for us. I thought him a saga hero, never to fall. He was formidable, but stubborn. When his strong voice echoed in this place, we knew what to do. We had courage, daring. This fire still burns in your folk. Skull. Skull. I lack a taste for mulled wine. Sometimes a leader... Count Odo. What does he want? An audience with Eivor. It is urgent. He says the queen may be in peril. My spies confirmed this. Charles has been hunting again for her and the boy. What do you think? Odo would not lie. If he says it's urgent, I must go. I owe the Queen a debt, and I'm unabound to see this through. Then go. You have fortune's favor, Wolfkist.
here. Eivor of England. You sent for me, said the Queen was in peril. I did. Come with me. Look at these workers. Working happily. Working with pride. The beauty of my family vineyard depends on them. And the quality of the wine is their doing. They are not beasts of burden. They take as much pride in these grapes as I do. I'm not here to admire your vineyard. No. But this is more than a vineyard. It is a vision of Francia. A vision that cannot exist under Charles. Ah, pluck the grapes right on time, Roland. Très bien. Dependable as always. Merci, monsieur. These grapes produce the wine that my vineyard is famous for. I admit, there is an uncommon beauty to these lands. Hmm, <laughs> indeed. Come. I am slower than I once was. My physician says the wounds you have delivered should have taken me. You chose to have that fight. And you fought for your people and for your honor. I do not hold it against you. Any true leader would have done the same. We are more alike than we first appear, Eivor. And I will carry the scars to remind me. I feared my message would not get past Siegfried's many axes. Siegfried is dead. They are Toka's axes now. By whose hand? Mine. I knew you would not like him. He was a careless butcher with no concern for what meat he chopped. Your message said Richardis was in peril. Is that really why you sent for me? These men represent the growing rebellion against Charles the Fat. I now accept the bitter truth, that I find more honor and courage in you, Eivor, a northern invader, than in my own king. Honor is not bound by country or creed. Indeed. Then it seems Richardis also knows this. She and that bastard Bernard are more than mere pawns in Francia's future. I gave Bernard to Charles as a bridge to an alliance. Yes, well, the boy barely lasted a day with that betrayal before running back to Richardis. Where is the queen? She's hiding in a tavern in Amiens, guarded by my men. But those men have not reported back in... too long. I will find Richardis. I am duty-bound to return the aid she once gave me. And... she is my friend. There is one more thing. This rebellion will succeed. And when it does, my path to the throne will be well charted. Your true ambitions. I was a loyal servant to Francia, to Charles, and to God. But Charles has been exposed. You want a Frankish king who will never march on England? I am that king. If I kill Charles for you. If you kill Charles for Francia. We would not forget. You are an honorable man, Count Odo. 
If I have a chance to kill Charles, I will. And in so doing, you will have sealed an alliance between the people of your clan and all the peoples of Francia. First, I must seek out Richardis in Amiens. Then go, Eivor the Wise. My prayers will ask the Lord to guide that blade of yours. We will overcome this evil, as we always have.